Yeah, you said you'd love to get the 16,000 realistically. Yeah. You're getting close. Yeah. Um, have a look. Question number eight. You're two away from 16. You're three away from the next big milestone of 32,000. The De Beers Company is most associated with which product? Coffee, diamonds, furniture, porcelain. What are you thinking here? I'm just thinking. <laughs> diamonds. Bought some? Not recently. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. Diamonds. Sure? Yeah. yeah. Final diamonds. answer. Final answer, diamonds. Seem very confident. That's the right answer. You've got 8,000 pounds. 8,000. You said you want 16. You've got eight. Now, you've still got two lifelines. Mm -hmm. You got 50 50. Yeah. Uh, you've got to phone a friend. Yeah. Have a look at question number nine for £16,000. Getting to be serious money. This is the amount you said you wanted to help your kids through university. Question number nine is for 16000 Here it is. Who was the 2001 winner of the British Open Golf Championship? Ian Woosnam, David Duval, Tiger Woods, Ernie Els. Now, this is for the £16,000 you came for, but if you give me a wrong answer here, yeah. you lose 7000 If you've got a 50-50, you can phone a friend. I don't know. I'm going to go 50-50. Okay. Yeah. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Ian the right answer and one completely random remaining wrong answer. No, golf is not my thing, Chris. I don't know. Phone a friend. You can still phone a friend. You can still take the money. I don't want you to lose this. You've got 8,000. You dropped I'm going seven to if you give me a wrong answer. Phone a friend. Okay. Who are you going to phone? Phil Williams. Phone Phil, tell him the question. There are only two yeah. possible answers. One of those is worth £16,000. One of those would cost you £7,000. Hello? Phil? Hello? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Good lord. Good evening, Chris. Good How evening. are you? Phil, I've got Ian here. All right. Uh, he's, been, he's been doing well, but he's stuck. Right. Uh, he's on £8,000, which is good news. Yeah. Uh, and there are only two possible answers. He's used up a 50-50. Two have gone. Right. Next voice you hear will be Ian's. He'll tell you the question. There are only two possible answers. One of these is worth £16,000. One would obviously cost him the 7000 of the eight if he plays it. OK. OK. All right, Ian. Good luck. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Who was the 2001 winner of the British Open Golf Championship? Was it Ian Woosnam or David Duval? 2001. British Open Golf Championship. Who was the winner of the 2001 British Open Golf Championship? Ian Woosnam or David Duval? David Duval. Are you sure, Phil? Yep, 99.9. .9. That's good enough for me. Thanks, pal. OK, Thank fine. Thank you. Cheers, good luck. Mate. David Duval. Good play. Not yes. Woosnam. David Duval. Final answer? That's what Phil said. Justin? Oh, yes. You came in for £16,000. Yeah. You just won £16,000. Thank you. Good old Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Now, you've used up those lifelines, but... Question number 10. Don't get too tempted here, but have a look at it. Question number 10 is for £32,000. Yeah, Huge sure. amount of money. Yeah. I'll be delighted to write you out a cheque on the spot, but if you give me a wrong answer, you would lose... Yeah, sure. £15,000. OK. No yeah. lifelines. This is question number 10. Have a look at it. It's for £32,000. A Helene is another name for which European? Hungarian, Pole, Swiss, Greek. A Helene. Hungarian, Pole, Swiss, Greek. Greek. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Ian, you're a great worry to me. You came for 16,000, you got 16,000. Greek. It's your call, you want to play this, you lose 15,000 if you're wrong. Greek. Final answer. Final answer, Chris, no matter what. 
came for 16,000, you had 16,000 pounds in your hand. Yeah. You just won 32,000 pounds. Well played. And I can tell you, Denise up in the audience, if looks could have killed Ben, she thought you were wrong. £32,000. Now, you're five away from a million, you've got no lifelines, but have a look at this one. Number 11, if you give me a right answer, even if it's a pure guess, it's worth £64,000 okay. to you. Have a look, here it is. Dan Dare, pilot of the future, was the hero on the front of which 1950s comic? Dandy, Marvel, Eagle, Topper. It's the Eagle. How old are you? 40. My dad told me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play? Yeah, I'll play. Yeah, I've got to play, yeah. Play Eagle. 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 You just won £64,000. <laughs> what a night! Brilliant. Give us this. <laughs> what else? Give us this. Chris. you still got this if you want it. But... Yeah, sure. I'll put this here for now. You've still got that £32,000 check no matter what. But at this moment, you can walk away with this check, which is much nicer. In fact, it's twice as nice. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Yeah, £64,000. Yep. You said you wanted 16000 Take it. I did, yes, thank you, Chris. Take it. put it there. You said you wanted 16000 At this moment, you can walk away with £64,000. And don't get too excited, Ian. Be calm. Remember your karate. You've got 64000 Question number 12 is for 125000 Here it is. You're four away from a million. Which West Indian island was evacuated when the Chances Peak volcano erupted in 1997? Mustique, Montserrat, Grenada, Martinique. It's for £125,000. Montserrat. Why are you so sure? I'm not. Why are you playing it then? You got 64,000, you dropped 32 if you're wrong. Montserrat. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Let's go for Montserrat. You came for 16,000, you had 64,000. You just won 125,000. <laughs> Yeah, just a little. Give us a check. <laughs> Get rid of this one. You won't ever need this again. Get rid of that. Right. Now, you've got £32,000 guaranteed. We got rid of the £64,000 check. At this moment, you're worth this. I'm going to take that. Yeah, you can take Thank it. You. Take it away. That's good. Right, Ian, you've got £125,000. You've got no lifelines, but you haven't had any for about half an hour. Um, you're three away from one million. Now, this is where the money is getting very serious. The drops are very sharp. Are. If you give me a wrong answer here, you lose £93,000. Question number 13 is worth a quarter of a million. You can walk away with £125,000. Here it is, question number 13. Which queen married Philip II of Spain? Mary I. Mary, Queen of Scots. Queen Anne, Mary the Second. I don't know, Chris. My history is usually quite good, but uh, not this one. I can't afford to drop that much, I'm going to guess. What would you think? What would I think? Yeah. I would have said Mary the First, but I'm not going to go for it. Attempted? No. I'm not that sure. Okay, he has been a terrific contestant. Thank Give him a big hand. Ian Saunders, power station worker from Rugeley, goes home with £125,000. I can tell you, so are I, Ian, I can tell you. If you had said Mary the First, mm -hmm. you'd be sitting there now with a cheque for a quarter of a million. Oh, it's the right answer. Never mind, eh?
Never mind. <laughs> He's got 125,000 yeah, pounds. Give him a big hand. Go. We've got eight players left. Here we go. Fastest finger first. Nice and quiet, audience, please. Here comes the next question tonight. Put these words in the order they appear in a Roald Dahl book title. Charlie, elevator, glass grate. A lot of panicking going on among our contestants. Let's see what happens. This, this is the right order, then. Well-known Roald Dahl book. Uh, this is the title in this order. Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. That's the book title. Right, now, eight left. How many got it right? These all got it correct. Only two. Who was fastest? Craig Tassane! Yes! Yes! yes. It's 6.14 seconds. Yes! You thought you weren't going to get on tonight, didn't you? You thought you weren't going to get out of that chair. Want to play for a million pounds? Yes, please. Yes. One million pounds. Let's go and get it. OK, fingers crossed. Lucky Teddy, money spider the lot. Question number one is for £100. Here it is. What name is given to someone who claims to make contact with the spirits of the dead? Small, medium, large, extra large. Medium, Chris. Right answer, you got £100. <laughs> OK, question number two for £200, here it comes. Which of these words refers to someone who is very sluggardly? Slow coach, slow train, slow bus, slow plane. Slow coach, Chris. Right answer, £200, Craig, well played. <laughs> OK, question number three for 300. Here it is. A buckle is most likely to be worn on which fashion accessory? Belt, sunglasses, glove, bracelet. I think I'll go for belt. Right answer, 300 pounds. No problem at all so far. You've still got those three lifelines. <laughs> OK, Craig, uh, you're two away from the first big milestone of 1,000 pounds. You still could go home with nothing. Take your time. Just be aware of those lifelines. You probably won't need them, but they're there if you need them. Question number four is for 500 quid. Somebody teetotal abstains from what? Exercise, meat, alcohol, tobacco. Alcohol, Chris. Right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Do you like a drink? No, I'm fine. <laughs> OK, with an ask. OK, you've got £500. Craig, last point at which you could go home with nothing at all. This is for a guaranteed £1,000 if you play for it and give me the right answer. Here it is. What was the first name of the Russian dancer Nureyev? Alexander. Boris. Nikolai. Rudolf. Rudolf. Sure? Yes. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Well played. <laughs> Well done, Craig. <laughs> Big sigh of relief. You're guaranteed to go home back to Sussex with at least a thousand pounds. Feel better? A lot better now. You were in a bit of a lather when you came up, weren't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, you got a thousand pounds. You said if you got to five hundred thousand pounds, whatever happens, you get for a million. Let's hope you get up there. Let's have a look. Question number six. You might as well play this. You've got all those lifelines waiting anyway. You can't lose on this one. You've got that thousand pounds guaranteed. Here it is. With which sport is Yelena Dokic most associated? Do you know this? Yes. You're looking very keen. What do you think? She's a tennis player. OK. Hope tennis comes up. Here we go. Yelena Dokic. Athletics. Golf. Swimming. Tennis. Tennis. Final answer. Final answer. Right answer, 2,000. <laughs> You've still got those three lifelines. Question number seven, you're nine away from a million. This is for £4,000. Take your time, have a look at each question as it comes up. The grocer, Alfred Roberts, was the father of which famous... You know this one as well, don't you? I might do. Who are you thinking? I'm thinking Margaret Thatcher, but I'm not sure. OK, the grocer, Alfred Roberts, was the father of which famous woman? Sherry Blair. 
Margaret Thatcher, Sarah, Duchess of York, Wendy Richard. Now, it's worth 4,000, you've got 2,000. 